Hi, my name is Steve and I'm the Director of Customer Relations here at eHealth Made Easy. Together we're going to walk through a sample account. We'll start from the registration point, creating a new practice and a new user. We'll then walk through the one-time setup. We will enter encounter and PQRI information and finally we will review the real-time feedback report in order to see our compliance. After having completed the online registration form, we'll click the Submit button. We are automatically logged into our eHealth Made Easy account and a welcome message is detailed. I'm just going to use the X button to close this page. We are now looking at our home page. We can return to this page from anywhere in the system by clicking the Home button. The first thing we're going to do is our one-time setup. The one-time setup includes selecting the quality measures that the provider will be reporting and importing a list of patients that will have PQRI data logged for their encounters. In this demonstration, we're going to start by reporting the diabetes group. To select the quality measures that we're going to report, we're going to click on the Select Quality Measures to Report button. On this page, we're going to see that the quality measure groups are displayed. Each of the 13 quality measure groups is listed. If we want to report individual quality measures, we could click the Individual Quality Measures link. Note that doing so updates the list displaying all 175 quality measures that are eligible to report in the 2010 reporting periods. However, as I mentioned, in this example we are going to want to report the diabetes group, so I'm going to use the quality measure group link in order to return to the list of 13 quality measures groups. We select the Diabetes Quality Measure group simply by checking the checkbox. Note that the selection highlights in blue. Also, note that there are two PDF icons associated with each group. The first icon is the Definition icon. The Definition icon opens the exact CMS specification file for the selected group. The next PDF icon is the Addendum icon. Clicking on the Addendum icon is going to open a Superbill Addendum. The Superbill Addendum is a worksheet that the provider or the office staff can use to gather the eligible patient and PQRI data prior to entering the information into the eHealth Made Easy Registry. The Superbill Addendum contains places to enter the patient demographic data, the CPT codes, the ICD-9 codes, and below that we're going to see each quality measure along with responses to that quality measure. Each response has a checkbox associated with it and the provider can simply check off the correct response at the time of the patient encounter. Essentially, what you can do is print off the addendum sheet, throw it on the photocopy machine, and make 29 copies. This way you have your 30 copies, one for each patient you will be reporting. Now you can use your EMR or practice management to isolate the eligible patients, and for each patient use the patient's chart or EMR to gather the PQRI responses. Once you have completed your 30 super bill addenda, you can return to the eHealth Made Easy system and log the PQRI data into the registry. Let's go ahead and return to the eHealth Made Easy system. The final step when selecting the quality measures we want to report is step number four, checking off that we want to participate in the ePrescribe incentive program. Once again, it's a simple checkbox, turning it on, turns on the e-prescribing incentive program. What I'd like to do now is quickly enter another provider. I can do this by clicking the add new user link. I'll quickly fill in the provider information.
and click OK. We are going to get some login credentials for this user. But let's say this medical provider will never actually log into the system. Instead, she's going to complete her 30 super bill addendum and hand them over to me. I'm going to enter the system and enter her encounters on her behalf. I do not need to remember the username nor the password, so I can quickly just click OK. Maybe this provider is going to be reporting a group different than the diabetes group. Perhaps this provider is going to report preventive care. All we have to do once again is check the checkbox to turn on preventive care. Perhaps this provider does not use the e-prescribing system. So we'll come in and turn off the e-prescribing checkbox. We have completed our first step of the initial setup. The next step is to upload our patient data. This is an optional step and can be done at any time. Once we've identified the patients that we're going to work with, we may choose to upload the patient's demographical information before we even start recording encounter and PQRI data. We do this from the patient import screen located under the settings menu. What we've done is created an Excel template that can be downloaded from this page. We'll complete the Excel file by filling in the patient demographical data and then upload those patients straight into the account. What we are doing is creating a patient record for each of the patients listed in the Excel file. Here we can see the sample Excel file completed. We have included the patient's MRN number, last name, first name, date of birth, and gender, the required information for PQRI reporting. Returning to the eHealth Made Easy system, all we have to do is browse for the file, open it, and upload it straight into our account. Again, this is something that only needs to be done one time. But if we decide to report our PQRI incrementally, we may choose to upload a list of January patients and enter those January encounters. We can then upload the list of February patients and complete the February encounters. We could do March, April, and so on and so on. Once we've completed the patient upload, we've completed the one-time setup and are ready to start recording our PQRI encounters and quality measure responses. We'll begin by clicking the New Encounter button. We now enter the PQRI wizard. This is a four-step process. First, we'll select our patient. Then, we'll enter the encounter details. We'll end up entering the procedures and diagnoses, and that will take us to our final tab where we will be presented with the relevant quality measures that need to be reported for the encounter. The first step is to select our patient. We'll notice that the patient list is already populated. This is because we just completed a patient upload. All we have to do now is either search for the patient or we can just simply click the patient's name off the list. Once we've selected our patient, we can update any information that may need to be updated and then we'll simply click the Save and Continue button to move to our next tab. We are now looking at our Encounter Details tab. Here we're going to enter the encounter provider. We'll enter the date of service and whether or not it was a Medicare Part B encounter. Let's switch our encounter provider over to the provider reporting preventive care. The nice thing about a registry is we can retrospectively enter. So we can date this visit all the way back to the beginning of the year. We can also mark this as a Medicare Part B encounter, and we'll save and continue. We're now moving on to the Procedures and Diagnoses tabs, but before we look at the information within the tab, let's have a look at our report so far. Our report so far contains the patient's name, the encounter provider, the date of service, the patient's age at the date of service, and whether or not this is a Medicare Part B encounter. Down below, we're going to see that the encounter provider has turned on the Preventive Care Quality Measure group. Now let's have a look at the CPT table. 
the CPT codes that are listed are the CPT codes that are related to the preventive care group. We'll check off a CPT code and we'll notice it updates in our report so far. Now, when we save and continue, the eHealth Made Easy rules-based engine runs. We're looking at the patient's age, the patient's gender, what quality measures have been enabled along with the CPT that was diagnosed at the encounter. On the quality measures tab, we're going to see the relevant quality measures that need to be reported. By relevant, we mean that since this is a male patient, there are no female specific quality measures presented. The provider does not need to answer mammogram, urinary incontinence, or osteoporosis quality measures for a male patient. Because the patient is aged 52 at the date of service, we do not have to answer any quality measures that are relevant for patients aged 65 and older. Now, let's say we go all the way back to our Encounter Details tab. Let's change the provider to the provider who is reporting the diabetes group. We'll save and continue. And again, what we can notice is our report so far has updated. The encounter provider is updated, as so are the quality measure groups, diabetes and e-prescribing. Also, let's note that both columns have updated. We are now showing every CPT code that is relevant to the diabetes group and is relevant to the e-prescribing group. The ICD-9s that are listed are the ICD-9s that are relevant for reporting the diabetes group. This is where our super bill addendum is going to come in handy in speeding up the process. All we have to do is see what codes were checked off on the super bill addendum and check off the corresponding code. As an example, we see 99212 as well as 250.00. Returning to the eHealth Made Easy system, we have 99212 already selected. Let's go ahead and check off 250.00. We'll click Save and Continue, and once again, our rules-based engine is rerunning, and now it's going to present us with the diabetes quality measures. If we minimize measure number one, we're going to see each of the six quality measures for the diabetes group along with e-prescribing. Again, we can use our super bill addendum to get the answers that we're going to click into the system, speeding up the reporting process. For quality measure number one, we checked off 3046F. So we'll return to the system and check off 3046F. That quality measure minimizes and the next one opens up automatically for us. Returning to the super bill addendum, we can see 3048F for quality measure number two, and we can check off the corresponding answer. We'll continue answering our quality measures in the same manner until we get to our e-prescribing quality measure. When we get to the e-prescribing quality measure, all we have to do is say that at least one prescription generated at the encounter was transmitted via an e-prescribing system. If we didn't generate any prescriptions, or if we didn't use the e-prescribing system for some reason, like the medications were controlled substances, we can use the NC response for not counted. Remember, all we have to do is report that we used an e-prescribing system for 25 Medicare Part B patients. Using the NC response won't contribute to our e-prescribing compliance, nor will it stand in the way of our reaching the 25 Medicare Part B patient encounter threshold. I'll go ahead and mark that we used it. Once each of our quality measures is minimized and we have the response in green text along with the green check icon, we are ready to finish the visit and record these PQ 